this is the uh, raffle bike going together that's not the finished product believe me um, we're just laying it out where we're putting things and how we're going to mount things which is crucial because this bike compared to the other one the studs are too short okay so we have to do something there to do the the front mount i wish they would just make an adapter that goes on the front of the motors and be done with it for these extruded frames and the elongated frames and the other uh the big tube frames they could actually make a separate motor if you have a big tube bike this is the motor that won the races around here why nobody wants to race me anymore and uh i burned the piston up uh and, and actually broke the mounts and everything that's why it's going back on this bike and not the raffle bike if anything breaks it's going to be on my own bike but this is the one that went around town kicking everybody's ass nobody could win against me nobody could win um i, I was using race fuel and that's part of uh when they say tires are what wins races or this wins races your fuel mix has a lot to do with it and how you handle your car and how your car handles for you so this motor it's ages old that's a, that's an old skyhawk uh, same as that one over there. That's a Skyhawk, and it's a certified Skyhawk. It's an older one. I had these, uh, when I first started doing these bikes, I didn't realize how many kits I ordered. And you can see the date on that right there. I know I'm the worst cameraman. I know I should be working for CNN. But anyway, that laid brand new, dormant in a box. Uh, that's why the paint's even kind of faded. We put a new cylinder on it, new bolts. As I said, I go over everything. That was one of my points in my videos. I don't hand people a piece of junk. Most people enjoy my products and stuff. I had very little trouble. Uh, you know, it's like one guy said, he said, there's no real bad reports on me on the internet. It's only when these people that, that have no driver's license want to leave them out in the rain and drive them drunk and they don't have enough money to put uh, two-cycle fuel and two-cycle mix in them. Those are the people I had trouble with and, and I, I tell them to go get lost, most of them anymore. They, I don't sell them a bike. I'm not that desperate anymore for money. Uh, I, I, not that I ever was. I, I just I wanted to get my product out there is why I, I made that comment in the wrong context. And you guys out here, I want a, a Hornet's Eye with wings and stuff for there. This is going to be the Harley Hornet model. I have one more frame left and I can order two more uh, fairly cheap. And that's what the bike's going to turn out to be is the Harley Hornet. And I'm having a blast with that one, except for the paint failure. And now I got two bugs stuck on that uh, right there. Actually, three. There's a third one down there. The, the paint didn't, did not... Uh, I'll go over it, and I'll clear coat it and everything. It needs to be gone over. Hopefully, the weather will hold out. It's been beautiful today, and now they're calling for severe storms. I don't know what the, what the weather's going to turn to. But that's the raffle bike, and that's going to be a real honey. And as I said, $20 a ticket. And I'm, I'm thinking of even doing another bike if it pans out. But people got to pay attention. If you guys can't afford one of my bikes, okay, the raffle's your best, your, your best option. You know, and I, I said you can have more than one entry. I don't care if you put 5, 10, or 20 in. That's all the better. But th there's people they can't afford the bike, but they can afford 100 bucks or 200 bucks. Well, then buy some tickets, okay? 100 bucks buys you five tickets, okay? Then you got a five you got a you got a five in one chance of winning uh the more entries that you put in you know what i mean and, and it's not that it's this week the drawing is going to be in the middle of december between the first and the 15th I, I i said i think i said september in my other video um i had september on my mind because i had stuff here i had to do and i'm it was getting to be the end of september but this bike is going together and like i said if you cannot afford one of these bikes but you got 100 200 bucks okay you buy five or ten tickets, you got you got a better chance of winning it than anybody else. And that, that was how the other kid won the other one. He, he must have put, he must have bought about 10, 15 tickets over three or four weeks. I don't know if he was getting the money from his dad or his job or whatever, but that's the way you do it. And that bike's going together. It's looking beautiful. It, it will look like something when it's done. And that old Skyhawks, those motors kick ass. That GT ver that GT5 version there with the balance crank and the high performance magneto, you can't beat them. And that's what that's actually what this is. That's a that's a Skyhawk, and that's the one that won all the races. I, I was kicking ass with those GT5s. Now the Zetas they have a bit longer stroke, and the bigger the wheel, a Zeta could probably take this bike, but I doubt it. I'm, I got I did some other internal things, and I got one of my special heads on this. So you guys make your decision where you put your money, and if you like I said, I have a lot of people they contact me. They can't afford one of my bikes. Well, you can afford to enter the raffle. So. 
that's uh, it for today. My workbench turned into a demilitarized zone at Beer 30. I, I got to clean all this crap up. I've been milling. I have my. Uh, I just put my portable milling machine away. I, I, I Jesus, I'm tired. So it's been a long couple. It, it's been a long summer and a long couple of last weeks here, getting stuff completed. And we have stuff. Uh, Brian's coming to pick up stuff for Rusty the Blazer. And then we're going to start on Humpty Dumpty over here behind the fence. And I'm, I've named that blazer Humpty Dumpty. The reason I've named him Humpty Dumpty is because he's in so many rusted pieces. It's going to take me and all the King's men that I know of. We're, gonna, we're putting them back together. Uh, Schmitty told me he had the parts ready and the parts were wrong. And I went down Schmitty's throat and Schmitty went down my throat. And we're all friends. So we're going to start on uh, Humpty Dumpty here. And hopefully over the winter we'll get them together. Let's hope this uh, weather handles and... Uh, stays here I'm, I'm trying to pray without jinxing myself and saying bad weather coming but anyway they're calling for storms and I finally figured that center crank out if anybody's ever tried to do one of these bikes I'm gonna give you this that's the center crank kit that belongs on this bike that fits right there I know I'm the worst cameraman in history and that's what it says World Bicycle Relief, www.worldbicyclerelief.org. That's got to go up on my shelf and up in my uh, cataloging because I had a hell of a time. I just ordered a crank system off of BikeBerry without realizing that this came with the, actually with the stuff that I had. There was two other boxes. I, I, I stick stuff because of my small space that I live in. Uh, in, in you know here instead of taking it down the big shop and totally losing it forever I only lose it temporarily here until I look for it and know where to look for it so other than turning my house into an utter disaster this uh, past couple days just trying to get the finding the pieces for this old motor to put this Humpty Dumpty back together and make that bike a bike um, this is another Humpty Dumpty right there and like I said if you guys do graphic artists guys that do graphics I want a hornet's eye and the wings, you know, for the tank there. And you can see the size, kind of. If you need any sizing or whatever, I'll give it to you. Um, pictures can fool you. But it's a tank frame bike, because you might even have done something with your own or whatever. And I, I had a hell of a time painting over that aluminum. I don't give a shit what kind of primer I used. Nothing wanted to stick to it. And then after I got the primer to stick uh, that I did get, I, I got a good grade epoxy. Uh, Heel alum. And I put the can away. But anyway, I got it. it's called Helaloom. It's for aluminum, uh, and it does it makes like a skin over the over the area or whatever to be painted because it just did not want to take paint. The back end of it was a was a different color, maybe a different alloy metal or just a different coating or something they had on it. The paint didn't want to lift on there. But anywhere else I put it on this aluminum frame bike, my paints wanted to lift on it, and my paints are basically acrylic enamels, and I don't know what that, that stuff was, this Rust-Oleum here, as, as I said, I featured it in the other video. So when you guys do this, nothing's a perfect science with this shit. It's all guesswork. So, thank you for watching my video. There's your raffle bike. $20 a ticket, get to it. Contact me.